This week, Interior goes Google for history, we get three new national monuments, and Lincoln's Memorial prepares for a facelift. Our nation's rich heritage gets a little more accessible now that the Interior Department is partnering with Google to bring national parks online. The National Park Service is home to one of the world's largest museum systems, with 380 park museums and 45 million objects. The Google Cultural Institute has made thousands of these historically and culturally significant objects available online. Visitors to the Institute's National Park Service channel will be able to see rare Native American artifacts, browse inspiring works of art that convey our nation's history and its natural beauty, and virtually walk through the homes of great American thinkers, including Frederick Douglass and Thomas Edison. President Obama has designated three new national monuments, the Sand to Snow National Monument, Mojave Trails National Monument, and Castle Mountains National Monument, all in Southern California. The new monuments protect some 1.8 million acres of spectacular landscapes, fragile wildlife habitat, unique historic resources, and important cultural sites. The three areas connect Mojave National Preserve, Joshua Tree National Park, San Bernardino National Forest, and 15 wilderness areas previously designated by Congress, creating a series of protected lands stretching hundreds of miles. The monuments are the result of nearly two decades of leadership by U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein to craft legislation to protect the special places of the California desert. Altogether, President Obama has protected more than 265 million acres of public lands and waters, more than any other president, and has preserved sites that help tell the story of significant people and extraordinary events in American history. An $18.5 million donation to the National Park Foundation from businessman and philanthropist David M. Rubenstein will help repair and restore the Lincoln Memorial. Rubenstein's gift is intended to help people better understand the significance of the nation's 16th president and preserve his ideals and values. The donation will allow the National Park Service to repair damaged brick and marble masonry, to gently clean the memorial and to preserve the murals above the memorial's inscriptions. Expect upgrades to the memorial as well, an elevator to improve accessibility, and a glimpse underneath the memorial, at the foundational pillars which anchor the memorial to the bedrock, and of the markings left behind by workers who built the monument in the early 20th century. Mr. Rubenstein's contributions benefiting the national parks include donations to restore the Washington Monument after the 2011 earthquake, to restore Arlington House, the Robert E. Lee Memorial in 2014, and to refurbish the U.S. Marine Corps War Memorial last year. Interior this week published a report on invasive species and a framework to help safeguard U.S. ecosystems, the economy, and human health. The report describes potentially devastating consequences from the spread of non-native species and points to early detection and rapid response measures to reduce harmful effects. The report urges the National Invasive Species Council to provide leadership in detection and response. There's more on the council at doi.gov slash invasive species. Hundreds of invasive species already exist in the United States, including zebra mussels, Asian carp, lionfish, and many others. If allowed to spread, invasive species can cost billions of dollars to manage and may cause irrevocable harm. You can read more about this story and more at doi.gov. And that's This Week at Interior.